as usual, we meet you to communicate the outcome of the Monetary Policy Committee meeting and the Financial Stability Committee meeting, and uh, prefer to use short uh, presentation to summarize the outcome of the meetings. So we'll start with the side on the Monetary Policy Committee. So please, let's this is just the outline of the presentation, and as usual, we start with the global uh, context, then we touch a little bit on the real and external sector, and then focus on our main mandate, the monetary sector and inflation, plus the financial stability side. So on the side of the international global uh, economic developments, again, as I always say, this is normally published by the IMF and the World Bank. So we summarize what we get from their, their reports. Uh, as we know, there have been tight financial conditions since the last year. Most of the central banks tightened their interest rates to deal with the high inflation that was uh, almost across the world. And then we'll continue to see extreme weather conditions because of climate change. This is uh, also experienced almost across, across the globe. Tight fiscal space, mainly because of the challenges of COVID, uh, challenges of war. So globally, there is uh, tight fiscal space. So governments are not able to spend freely on uh, on different development programs, and that uh, has an impact on the growth of the uh, global economy in general. And then we still see geopolitical tensions. Russia, Ukraine is still there. Now we have uh, the Middle East crisis. Uh, so we hope we don't see uh, others uh, developing in the near uh, future. So all these have an impact on what we see in the next slide in the development of the global economy or the performance of the global economy. So this year we expect to see overall growth of the global economy reducing from 3.5% recorded in 2022 to 2% uh, this year and even reduce further next year to 2.9%. This reduction is linked to the issues I've just raised in the first slide. For the Sub-Saharan Africa, we see similar reduction for this year, mainly driven by underperformance of the two biggest economies, that's South Africa and uh, Nigeria. But we see uh, the economy to, to improve uh, next year. Then looking at the commodity prices that uh, are linked to global inflation in general. So we, overall there's improvement in, in the commodity prices globally. When you look at the, the year on year comparing first nine months of last year and uh, the first nine months of this year, we see reduction in, in uh, global commodities, weather energy index reducing by 28.8%. Uh, even the nine energy index is reducing by 10.4 for the nine months. But for the energy, we saw a slight increase in the second, I mean the third quarter of this year, when you compare it with the second quarter of this year because of the increases, I mean reduction in production of oil mainly, as you see the crude oil itself increased by 11.3.5% in Q3. Uh, I think the biggest producer, uh, Saudi Arabia, cut their production, but also the tensions in, in the Middle East have contributed to this. But when you look at the numbers today, I think the last quarter we saw uh, crude oil prices increasing to the 90s. I think uh, for the best part of this year, it was around below 80, uh, but had increased to the 90s per barrel in, uh, in uh, uh, last quarter. But this has now gone down to around the middle 80s. So at least we see uh, reduction this quarter. And we expect it to remain around 80 over the medium term. In fact, going below to the 70s. And on the non-energy index, uh, again, we saw reduction, whether year on year, even quarter on quarter, we continue to see reduction in uh, food commodities and, uh, and uh, uh, 
in our case, fertilizer and many other non-energy non products have been going down. Though, as you see in our inflation numbers, uh, some commodities like rice and, and sugar at international level has continued to increase uh, uh, comparing this year to last year. So though overall there's general reduction in commodity prices, but few that impact us uh, so increases if from last quarter even still persist uh, this quarter. So that translates into uh, overall reduction in the global inflation from 6 point, uh, I mean 8.7 last year, which was the highest for quite some time, to expected to end at 6.9 on average for this year and continue to reduce uh, to 5.8 uh, next year at the global level. At sub sign level, unfortunately, it is expected to increase this year. And this is mainly driven by increase in inflation in Nigeria, in uh, Ethiopia. Some of the big economies on the continent are, are driving this increase, overall increase in inflation on, on the sub-Saharan African uh, part, but expected to reduce uh, uh, next year. Now, coming to the local economy, uh, we continue to see good performance of our domestic economy, uh, recovery from the reduction in, in or negative growth during the COVID time 2020. Uh, as you see the graph there, we, we the dotted line showed the actual economic performance and the yellow or, or goldish lines show what we track uh, as frequent numbers, the composite index of economic activities. So what we see, uh, though the economy continues to, to, to recover, at least we see reduction in the, in the, in the rate of, of the economic growth. So for Q3, we see our CIA reducing from 6.3 last year to 5.2 in, I mean, last quarter to 5.2 uh, in quarter three. And this is also linked, if you look at quarter three last year, we had very high growth uh, of this year, year 17.3. So some best effect as well impacts on the performance of, uh, of this quarter three. But our overall expectation is the projected 6.2 performance for the whole year is still uh, on course uh, uh, to be achieved. So while we see reduction in Q3, but we expect our performance to remain within the projections given by the Ministry of Finance at uh, around 6.2%. For the external sector, uh, overall, uh, for the first nine months, we see increase in both imports and exports. Imports increasing much faster than exports and also coming from a stronger base. That has contributed to worsening or the widening of our uh, trade deficit by uh, 12 percent. Though for the quarter we are focusing on in this particular, uh, or we focused on this particular meeting, we saw reduction both for imports and exports. Uh, exports mainly uh, were impacted by reduction in non-traditional exports and uh, re-exports because of challenges in the region, uh, uh, reduced demand in the region. Uh, so, and this is also linked to reduction in imports because mainly when you look at the import reduction is uh, petroleum products that are, are main re-export products. So the reduction in imports is linked to the reduction in the re-exports to, to the region. So this reduction in imports and reduction in exports, though they are both reduced, but we say reduction in trade deficit for this quarter uh, because uh, though the reduction in imports is, is slower than the reduction in exports, but it's coming from a bigger base. But overall, anyway, the 9.4 uh, and 5.6 uh, ending in, up into a 12.2 percent widening of the trade deficit is what matters because it has impacted the, the, the foreign exchange market that uh, uh, you see pressures today. Uh, as I'm sure you follow the, the news uh, uh, or the developments of the market. On the monetary policy side, interest developments, as we continue tightening our policy rates, the short-term 
money market rates followed. So we see interbank rate increasing from 6.05% to 7.99%. Similar increase in deposit rates uh, from 7.78 to 9.58. So we see transmission here from our policy rate increase to short-term market rates, even government borrowing, the, the interest rates on T-bills, even on T-bonds have increased. But there's not yet increase in the overall lending rates because when you look at the, 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 the quarter we are looking at today, uh, the, the loans were dominated by long-term maturities that registered short, I mean, lower interest rates. That's why you see a reduction from 16.17 to 15.93 percent. So there's reduction in overall lending rates. Those short-term loans, we see slight increase in their interest rates, but overall there's still a uh, uh, reduction. So I think the message here is we see a transmission of policy uh, decisions to the short-term market rates and the deposit rates. Long term, if nothing changes, that's when we expect to see it transmitting into the lending rates. On inflation, which is our main focus and our uh, preoccupation, uh, so we see continued reduction of the interest rates uh, quarter um, on quarter and year on year compared to what we had last year to what we have this year. At least we see when you compare Q2 this year to Q3 this year, you see reduction from 15.2 to 12.7%. Uh, and this was registered across all the components of our inflation, whether co-inflation, uh, energy inflation, and fresh food inflation. We see all, the comp all these components reducing during the third quarter of, of this year. And when you look at the, the next slide, uh, so we saw inflation uh, increasing up to the fourth quarter of Q4 last year and started going down. Uh, so 15.2 last quarter, as I just said, to 12.7 uh, Q3. They, we expect this downward trend to continue. And as you look at the uh, outlook, uh, the, the, we expect this inflation to reduce to our band, towards our band uh, of between two and eight by end of 2023 and continue to reduce to an average of 6% during 2024. Of course, this is on the assumption that we have no more agricultural performance for season A, that is, and start kicking in in December this year. Uh, and going forward, we expect no more agricultural performance. And we are giving possible risk to this uh, uh, outlook, that is the geopolitical tensions. So this might pose uh, challenges on commodity prices uh, that would really affect these projections we are giving here. Again, the weather dependent agriculture, as we said, this is based on the assumption that we see normal agriculture. So with this trend in reducing inflation, uh, the Monetary Policy Committee decided to maintain our policy rates, because we think it's tight enough to bring inflation back to our band. As you see, 2024, it will be around 6%. But also, we intend to maintain it for, at least for next year, assuming nothing else happens, nothing unusual happens, uh, to, to sustain the stability of this inflation uh, going forward. So briefly, that's the summary of what was discussed in the Monetary Policy Committee. I move on to the Financial Stability Committee. I think about three or four slides summarizing what we discussed. It's mainly focusing on the performance of the financial sector. We see the financial sector continuing healthy and strong performance, uh, assets increasing by 16.2 in the first nine months of this year to 9.97 billion or trillion, or 9,974 billion. And this as a percentage of GDP remains strong at 64.1%. Uh, though you see reduction compared to 21 and 22, this is because in 20 we had negative growth in the, in the economy overall, while the financial sector continued to grow. So it's 
as, as, as a percentage of, of, of the other because the denominator had reduced. You see higher rates for the past two years, but it's at 64%. This year, we see the, the, the financial sector still strong and contributing to the overall performance of the economy. And this growth in the assets was mainly contributed to increased deposits from uh, clients, but also retained earnings from financial institutions coming from good performance in their, in their uh, uh, business. The profitability continues to increase. So the next is looking at the stability, our main concern as a regulator. Uh, so this gives key indicators of the stability uh, measures for the banking industry. The capital adequacy is a measure we use to see the strength of the capital of banks uh, to withstand any shocks, any uh, uncertainties. And we see this remaining strong and increasing. Uh, when you look at September this year, it was at 24%, much higher than the 15% minimum that we require uh, financial institutions to maintain. So the, this gives us confidence that banks have healthy capital, as, I, as you saw in the first slide, there have been increase in capital due to retained earnings and even injection of new capital. Uh, the other contributing factor here is the healthy uh, loan portfolio of banks, though there's slight increase in the non-performing loans uh, as a ratio, but still below the 5% benchmark that in, indicates a healthy portfolio. So that also uh, indicates uh, good performance of the financial sector because non-performing loans are not uh, eating up their capital base. Then on the liquidity side, it also remains very healthy, way above our minimum requirements. And as I said, there's been healthy performance from the uh, banks, and you see the same with the other uh, subsectors of the financial sector, good performance in terms of profitability uh, as the return on equity continues to increase. Uh, today we are at 19.7%, more or less similar to our peers in the region. So our financial sector, our banking industry is now competitive enough to attract uh, investments, but also to generate capital from within the operations that allow them to continue growing their business and support. Uh, economic uh, performance. Similar to the microfinance institutions, uh, strong capital base, way above the minimum requirement of 15%, same with non-performing loans, have continued to improve uh, in terms of the ratio, uh, way below our 5% uh, benchmark. Liquidity is also healthy. We use a different measure from the banking uh, side, but still very strong liquidity levels, and profitability has also continued to increase. On the insurance sector, uh, it's really here we focus on private insurance, remain healthy, uh, good solvency ratio, which is a measure of their capital base, uh, has continued to improve. Same with the liquidity ratio and the profitability. Here you can uh, we've explained this before, uh, we see improved performance in terms of risk management of the, our insurance sector, in, increased uh, premiums for the motor uh, category that was a big challenge in terms of their loss making. Uh, so, and this increased premiums allow them to invest and generate investment income that allows them to remain profitable and continue growing their capital base as well. Uh, next, so the, the last part here is on the payment systems. We just summarized here indicating how the overall electronic payments have been increasing as a percentage of GDP, indicating more deepening of the digital uh, financial services within the economy. Uh, the other uh, components are just stressing bits of what contributes to this growth in the of all performance of the digital channels, uh, person to person, I think the highest growing channel, you continue to see people exchanging money through mobile channels, uh, business, person to business, more merchants have taken on the virtual POSs and we continue to see transaction increasing and the value of transactions. Uh, so briefly, this is what we 
had and for the outlook on the financial sector, we continue to see our financial sector remaining stable and sound and able to serve their clients uh, when you look at the liquidity side, the capital base, and the quality of the uh, assets they have. Of course, we always remain vigilant to follow up any, any source of uh, uh, uncertainty or instability and uh, take corrective actions working with the financial institutions. So briefly, that's the outcome of the meeting of the two uh, committees of the National Bank of Rwanda. So as I said, uh, I'll try to summarize it in Kenya Rwanda. Um, so we have to the the political uh, kuna mafaranga akoreshwa mu bikorwa biza muri ubukungu ikindi bibazo tubona ku rwego mpuzo amahanga by'intambara ibazo byo guhinda gukurika kwibire ku kirebe byo byatumye habaho kugabanuka ku bukungu ku rwego mpuzo amahanga wareba ku biciro ku rwego mpuzo amahanga byo byamaze kugenda ari mariko kwezo ngamba zagiye zifatwa ari ibiciro by'ibikomoka kuri petroli ari ibiciro by'i Given the Arabic, the Amafum, the Kuru Muzamanga of Joseph, Jaji, every man who came to the GM, which I got to Tua Revaga, we got to my Chio and Rusan, the Chitri Tem Fresh and Kuru Muzamanga, Chiaman, so you have a quick at Munan in your chair in the Kurijana, how Javi is a Mark Shize, the Mark Rick of Yaraja is a Kurigatana to Nivich and the Kurijana. No go Muri, Africa, Yazam, Sok of a Kuchuminaka, Nenivichavita, no, we had a Kuchuminan in which. Chimanagatani, <laughs> umuvuduko waramanutse dushingiye ku mibare dukurikirana umunsi ku wundi eh muzi ko mu gihembwe cy'ambere cy'uyu mwaka twagize iterambere ry'ubukungu kuri ikenda n'ibice biri kwijana mu gihembwe cy'akabiri bagatatu n'ibice bitatu kwijana mibare dukurikirana iragaragaza yuko bizongera bikamanukaho muri iki gihembwe cy'agatatu ariko muri rusange imibare yatanzwe na Minisa y'Imari n'Igena Migambi aho ubukungu witeze kuba bwazamuka muri uyu mwaka kuri gatandatu n'ibice biri ku ijana tubona nundi bizagerwaho dukurikije imibare tubona ubu ngo ku rwego rw'ubuhahirana n'impuzo amahanga muri iki gihembwe cyangwa reka mvuga mezi 9 ya mbere y'uyu mwaka ubona ari ibintu tweza amahanga byarazamutse nibyo dukore byarazamutse ako ari uko ibyo dukore byazamutse cyane kurusha ibyo twaheza mu hanga byatumye aho ikinyuranyo kiyongereye eh cyo twita trade deficit ikinyuranyo ku madevise yinjira na yasohoka akari byo bitera gutakaza agaciro ku faranga nkuko mubibona ku isoko y'ivunjisha muri iki gihe eh ibi ngibi mu byo beta ikora izo ni ngamba zitangwa na ministere ishinzwe ubucuruzi na ministere y'imari no kwari kugeza kongera ibyo twoheza amahanga byo byafasha kugabanya icyuho kikomeza gutera gutagaciro ku ifaranga ku isoko y'ivunjisha ikindi kurikirana ni ku biciro ku masoko ari cyo kingenze dukurikirana nka bank muri igihugu ibiciro ku masoko go to next slide ibiciro ku masoko iyo rebye umuvudu ko ibiciro ku masoko twishimira yuko wakomeje kumanuka kwaraza mu tacyane mwaka ushize ariko guhera mu Yemwe cyambere cyo mwaka wakomeje kugenda umanuka urebye nk'igihembwe cy'akabiri wari ku mpuzanengo ya 15 n'ibice biri kwijana 
yamal se ugera kuri 12 ni bice 7 ndu kwijana mu gihembwe cy'agatatu mu gihembwe cy'akaye nubundi twiteze ko bizakomeza kumanuka bikagera mu mpera z'umwaka bikagera hafi y'igipimo tu twa twifuza ko bitarenga 18 kwijana ndetse bigakomeza mu mwaka wa 2024 yo turebye imibare tubona bizaba hafi ku mpoza ndengo ya gatandatu kwijana ubwo ni ku muvuduko ubiciro ku masoko muri rusange niho bizabiri ibyo bikabiri muri cyagipimo twa twifuza hafi ya gatano kwijana ko bitarengaho ngaho ariko ibi tubiteganya twizera yuko azaho umusaruro mwiza w'uhinzi ko ibibazo biri ku rwego rw'umpoza mahanga izi ntambara zitakongera gutera ibibazo biri kuzamuka ku biciro by'ibikomoka kuri petroli ku biciro by'ibiribwa bi habaye ikibazo byatuma wenda iyi tubona i i uko guteganya tubona kwa ko bizamanuka bikagira kuri gatandu kwijana bishobora kugwana kugeraho so kubera impamvu yo tubona ko ibiciro birimo bimanuka ariko bitaragezeho twifuza twasanze twakumisha urwo ko rwa banki uri igihugu rwa kaimwe n'ibice bitandu kwijana tubona ruhagije kuzasubiza ibiciro ku masoko muri cyagipimo twifuza cyagati yakawe no munani kwijana byunganira izindi ngamba leta ikomeje kugenda ishiraho ndetse mu gihe mu gihe cy'umwaka tagize ikindi gihinduka kidasanzwe tubona urwo gukora uzagomaho kugira ngo rukomeze ku gushimangira ko inflation yaguma mu gipimo twifuza turebye kuna kanama ka kutajegaje ga ku rwego rw'imari cyo twishimira nuko rwego rw'imari rukomeze kuzamuka ari ku mutungo wabo ari ku nguzanyo batanga ku kuba bigana ari ku rwego kwa wona byose bikomeje gutera imbere bigafasha ku gutanga ikizere ko twizeye ko nta mpunyenge dufite zahungabanye urwego rw'imari mu gihe ki kiri imbere so ari imibare ya capital cyangwa imibare ishora mari bafite ari imibare y'ubwiza bw'inguzanyo batanga ari imibare y'amafaranga akenerwa ku gutanga service kwa bagana byose bihagaze neza bihejuru cyane ibipimo ngenderwa twa twaratanze ka banki uri igihugu iyo bikadukize biko nta kibazo tuzagira mu gutajegaje ga burwe go rw'imari mu gihugu cyacu nduva ryo cyama cyanatanga mu rakoze cyane thank you governor as we open up for the q and a session i'll give a few housekeeping rules so governor uh, this uh, press conference is being streamed live so we we ex will expect to get que uh, some questions from the people who are following online and for those who have uh, questions uh, online can post them on the chat section we read them and then uh, we limit the questions to two questions per person to allow everyone the opportunity to ask within their allotted time and also feel free to ask both in english and kinyarwanda so the floor is yours thank you so we'll take from arabia nakoze cyane gavana nitwa Jean Claude Mutuyezo ndi umunyamakuru wa arabia um twagira ngo mutubwire ku kamaro ku gahunda ya cashless imaze gihe ikoreshwa ese ubimaze kugera kuki cyane cyane tunareba ku mafaranga yajyaga akoreshwa cyangwa se atakara katubivuge gutyo mu kwemprima cyangwa se guprintinga ayandi ese byagabanyutse kugeza ku kihe gipimo iki kibazo cyakabiri irigabanuka byo muvuduko w'ibiciro ku masoko yego byaragabanutse ariko se murabona biri ku rwego rwifuzwa ese nta bundi buryo usibye kuba wenda bizagaragarira mu musaruro w'ubuhinzi yego nabazaga ngo kugabanuka ku muvuduko w'ibiciro ku masoko usibye ku kirebana n'ubuhinzi kuba wenda hategeje uko umusaru uzagenda nta kindi kintu gishobora kuba kigaragaza yuko bizagabanuka hari gahunda yavuga gushize yuko hagomba kwemererwa ibicuruzwa bimwe na bimwe byo mu karere cyangwa se nahandi kuryo byaba byinshi twabonye bimwe na bimwe nk'ibirayi yatangiye kwinjira biva mu gihugu cy'Uganda cyangwa se na Tanzania ese nta bundi buryo cyangwa se 
nta yindi gahunda yatuma umuvudu kwe biciro ku masoko urusha kugabanuka cyane cyane kubiribwa murakoze abantu tukasubiza ibyo so okay eh ale kasubiza cyaka bida samugenzo wange defte gabana zo gusubiza cyambere kugira cashless kucya inflation nibyo ibiribwa ni kimwe mu mu bi mu bya dufite ikibazo gikomeye cyane kuri inflation muri rusange uko uyu muvu twa biciro ku masoko kuko irebye ibiribwa ku bwabyo byaratumbagiye bigera birenze kuri 50% ku ijana mu mpera z'umwaka ushize usubiye inyuma kuri kuri slide ya 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 breakdown inflation eh ya na the break yes so hano yirebye ibiribwa byaramanutse muri iki gihe ngo cyagatatu ariko biracyari hejuru ku 31 ku ijana eh uko twavugaga ari wundi umusaruro wacu yenze neza mu gihugu nibwo tugira inyungu nini kuri cyangwa se ingaruka ubwo nize ko ari ijambo rivugitse neza nibwo twagira ingaruka ifatika ku biciro bikamanuka cyane ariko nkuko wari ubivuze kuba dufite ibiribwa bituruka mu karere nabyo birafashe so mugiri muri iki gihe mwe gishize yo gye nk'ibirayi mu kwezi kwa 8 mu kwezi kwa 8 ngo byatumbagiye cyane yes mu kwezi kwa 8 birayi bya bigeze kuri 1958 ubwo ni kumpuza ndengo ku masoko dukurikiramo bivuye no 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 wait wait tese kuri amafaranga 1840 bivuye kuri 1580 mu kwezi mu kwezi kwa 9 ari byageze kuri 1840 bivuye kuri 1580 mu kwezi kwa rwishize ariko kwera kwa ise hatangira kuzibira bivuye Uganda bya tumye icyo gico kidakomeza gutumbagira mu kwezi kwa 10 biramanuka bijya kuri 1710 ya byi umunsi mibare dukurikirana bigeze kuri 1625 so byarafashije bya byatutse Uganda byarafashije kumanura igiciro ariko twizeye uko umusaruro no ntho wo mu gihugu nuboneka bizarushaho kumanuka niyo mpamvu tugaragaza uko biciro yirebye muri uriya mubare twatanze wa gatandatu kwijana twiteze uko mu mwaka utaha umuvudu kwa biciro kubiribwa uzaba wasubiye hasi uri negative atari ubundi buragenda uzamuha gutwiteze ko nuno uzasubira hasi bikamanuka ko urumva byo yo tuvuze inflation nuko nya bisobanura no kugabanya kuzamuka kugiciro ariko kureba ibiraye byo nto birimo biramanuka ntabwo ari kugabanya kuzamuka kwa byo gusaba ubwo giciro kirimo kiramanuka kandi twiteze yuko kizakomeza kumanuka umusaruro nuboneka nkuko tubyiteze so nibyo rero kwa bivugaga kuwa hari ibiribwa bituruka hanze bituma ibiciro bikomeza kumanuka nubonde hari ni ku rwego mpuzamahanga twagaragaje yuko ibiciro ku rwego mpuzamahanga byamanutse biya nabyo bifite ingaruka nziza ku biciro byacu ku masoko kuko hari ibintu byinshi dukura hanze nabyo bya biya ubona bya bya twita ko inflation byinshi ni bituruka hanze nabyo bika bikagenda bimanuka kimwe na nibikomoka kuri petrole nsuye mu gatoya birashoboka ko numundi ni gahunda izahoraho cyangwa wenda byakizwe kugira ngo bikomeze bifashe kugabanya ibiciro none hari ubuhahirane hagati y'urwanda n'amahanga ntabwo ruko twari dufite ikibazo cy'ibiciro nuko ibibazo byawe imyaka ibiri ishize byarangiye so ubu ngubu hari ubuhahirane busanzwe biza kubera yuko bikenewe ni tubone ibyo urwanda bikaba byinshi gicuro kikaje hasi wenda igiciro cyawe ntabwo kizashobora kuza gupigana ku isoko ryacu ubyaza kubera ku giciro hano cyari hejo so birashoboka ko mu gihe kizaza bitazaza kubera ko tuzaza dufite ibihagije hano ariko imipaka irafunguye harujya n'uruza rw'ibicuruzwa bitewe nibikenewe nibiciro ko bimeze ku masoko eh uh, dj uh, thank you governor murakoze uh, record kuri iki kibazo kuri cashless nkuko uh, twabibonye mu mibare uh, gukoresha ikorana buhanga mu kwishyura les byari gusa kuri zero nibice bitatu kwijana by'umusaruro mbumba aho rero biragaragara cyane 
ko cashless yitabiriwe ikindi cyakabiri kigaragara nuko nabacuruzi bakoresha ikorana buhanga izi za Momo Pay cyangwa Airtel Pay ubu bageze ku bihumbi 1290 um aho urusubi inyuma cyane cyane imbere ya covid bari munsi y'ibihumbi 40 aha rero berekana ko iyi gahunda ya cashless yitabiriwe cyane ariko ntago ari kuvuga ko ari ingamba leta yashyizeho cyangwa nuko natwe nka banke nkuru y'u Rwanda dukomeza gushishikariza abantu gukoresha cashless byahagaze aho gutwifuza ko icyo gipimo cyakomeza kwiyongera nkuko babivuze bikagabanya ikiguzi cyo cyo gukoresha amafaranga cash mu ntoki cyane cyane no gushyiraho n'uburyo abantu bishyura na rufite uh, mobile money ya rufite Airtel money ubu byaratangiye mu muziko e-cash yatangiye guhera mu kwezi kwa gatatu akaba ari ibintu rero byo kwishimira kandi uh, numva izo ngamba leta yashyizeho um, zirekana umusaruro kandi zikomeje kwiyongera nkuko twabibonye mu mibare kaita bajeje kumenya byagabanyije uh, gute uh, kurara ya mafaranga yaga akoreshwa mu mu printing cyangwa se gukoresha ayo ngayo ikigero kigaragara nuko icyo twita currency in circulation cyangwa amafaranga bari mu baturage akoreshwa nka cash ubundi uh, yajyaga yiyongera ku kigero kirenze nka 20 ku ijana buri mwaka ubu turi munsi ya 10 ku ijana ni ya mbere Yes Andrew from Igihe Murakoze nitwa Serge Radukunda no munyamakuru wa Igihe Muri mibare mwatweretse kimwe mu byagaragaye no ku by'u Rwanda rukura hanze byagabanutse ariko biterwa hanini nuko ibyo rwakuraga hanze rukabigurisha hanyi mu karere na byo byagabanutse twagira tumenye byatewe n'iki Kongo ni rimwe mu masoko manini y'u Rwanda hari isano bya bifitanye n'ibibazo biri hagati y'u Rwanda na Kongo murakoze dukurishije bibaye twabonye ntabwo ari ikibazo kiri hagati y'u Rwanda na Kongo ni ikibazo kiri muri Kongo kugaho bagize ikibazo ki ari ababo ari nabacu bajyanaga ibikomoka kuri petroli ntabwo byagendaga kubera ibibazo biri bi wabo bari ufite ibibazo byo kwishyurana n'iki aba acuzwe ikomoka kuri petroli banga kuzitanga ukurikije amakuru ndumva umwe amakuru abundi kuyaze bo bagize ibibazo bya byo kwishyurwa nayo bituma barakira gutanga bikomoka kuri petroli ariko aho birangiriye nubundi ibyavaga hano bijya muri Kongo nubundi biragenda nta nta kibazo gihari so ni kibazo ro cyari wabo ntabwo ari kibazo kiri hagati y'u Rwanda byombi ubwo impamvu naho ngaho yari shingiye gusa cyangwa ari ndi impamvu y'u Rwanda rworeza mu kare byagabanutse byagabanutse iyirebye nkuko nabivuze akenshi byagabanutse kuri byo bikomoka kuri petroli ibindi bisanzwe nta cyagabanutse nibyo byajyagayo kandi ni ikibazo cyarimo intambo asomta from doe sai murakoze nagira ngo mbabaze mwavuze ko ibyo Rwanda rwohereza mu mahanga ari bike ya ugiranije nibyo bikura bigatuma ifaranga rya cyita gaciro nagira ngo mbabaze hanze hagaragara ikibazo cyane cyo kubura amadorari yaba ari kubikorera ndetse no mu mabanki ibyo ntangaruka bigira mu bucuruzi muri rusange cyangwa se ni ubucuruzi mu gihugu muri rusange murakoze ibyo byose iyo abashaka gutumiza ibintu hanze ni benshi ama devise bakena ni menshi kurusha ayabone kuko bayakeneye so biho gutinda kuyabona ntabwo yabura burundu ni bashaka uyu munsi ushobora kwabona nyuma y'icyumweru cyane cyane abatumiza ibintu byinshi habaho rero kudindiza kwa ku bwa bucuzi ko bwa kihuza so byo ntabwo twavuga ngo nta ki nta kibazo na kimwe gihari habamo gutinda ku gukora ibyo wagakoze ubucuzo wagakoze kubera ko batinze kubona amadovize uko yashakaga so iyo pressure iyo ntuze cyo kinyuranye kirimo mu yakenewe na yaza na yaza bituma haba mu kudindira ku bucuzo bikaba nabyo bifite ingaruka muri kuri ya kugabanuka kwa 
kukungu muri rusanze dera ko wenda igihugu kiyafite ku buryo wenda bashaka kutinda kwabona ariko byibuze barayabona atabuno bundi batinda kwabona ariko barayabona ntabwo nta kuvuga ngo ushobora gukena gukora ikintu bikakunanira burundi kubera ko wayabuze oya nuko uko yakene uyu munsi bitewe n'ungano yayo ushobora kwabona nyuma y'ikimwe ruko yabona uyu munsi ariko bose barayabona uko yakene so aho mu gukerereza gusa ariko ntabwo bivuze yuko bihagarika ibikorwa Tivitene. Rakuza yeah, governor ni kwa David Nzabuli mangu ya Tivitene. Ichiwazo mfite ni ku kubichiro. Nibijo koko urebji mibare shinje kubihebji ombi vishize bufudu kwa raga wanute. Hariko wareba kumibare banyi selu tse kugaragaza mkwezi kushize ya vuze kurguanda ya gara gaje kurguanda uruguwa wa uruguwa gata tumu yugu vifteza mkari jibichiro kwiso kukuru jero uruguwa rwa 15 ku ijana nyamara abo mwa mu gihe nk'icyo cy'umwaka ushize rwa ru rwa 9 rufite za mu karya 34 ku ijana ariko bari bakuru rwo rutonde igitangaje no kubona ibihugu nka Zimbabwe bya bifite za mu karya riri rya magara sura 53 ku ijana bitakiri bitari kuri uru rutonde rushyashya aba ryo gihe byari byafatwa nk'igitangaza kubona igihugu gifite za mu karya meze riryo ibihugu nka byari bane nabyo byavuye kwizamuka ryijana 198 bigera kuri 31 ku ijana ibyo ni bihugu byari imbere bifite za mu karya kabije ubugeranije nuko rwanda bya bihagaze umuntu akibaza ngo nibyo koko urebye urugo ko rwa Central Bank ku kurugumisha kuri 7 ni bice bitanu ku ijana hari cyo byatanze ushingiye ku bibari garagazwa ku Rwanda gutse ariko umuntu yakibaza ngo kuki urwanda rukiri muri ibyo bihugu bifite izamuka risa naho rya rirenze cyane urwanda hejuru yise yiyi ngamba ya Central Bank ari kindi mubona ki gituma koko bitagira handi muvuga mushaka ikindi gishamikiye ho wenda no kuvuga ngo kuva umwafata iki cyemezo cyo kuzamura urugo korwa rukagira kuri 7 n'ibice bitanu imibare y'izamuka ry'ubukungu bo gihembwe cy'ambere yari yari yazamutseho ku muvudu ko ikenda n'ibice bibiri ku ijana ariko wareba nkuko mibare igaragaza biri kumanuka nubwo hari kizere ko mwakuzarangira bimeze neza ntabwo umuntu yavuga ko nkuko no muryango umwe bw'uburayi herutse ku ejo bundi nabonye uburira ibihugu ko bigomba kwitwararika kuri ingingo yo kuzamura urwo mukorwa abanyuzi bihugu ntabwo iki cyaba ari kiguzi cyuru ki yingamba yo guhagarika ibiciro cyakugabanya umuvuduko kwa wiza mu karyo ibiciro murakoze Sura mone se cyoze cyanyuma Icya icyanyuma kivuga ngo urebye uko ubukungu bw'u Rwanda buzamuka ndebye kuri imibare mu gihembwe cy'ambere cy'umwaka bwe bwazamutseho ku muvuduko wa 9 n'ibice bibiri ku ijana mu gihembwe cy'agata turabona ko garagaza ko ishobora kugera kuri gatano n'ibice bibiri ku ijana nubwo muvuga ku mwaka ushobora kuzarangira bazamutse ejo ra gatana tu ku ijana avuga nti ko iyi uru rwunguko rwazamuwe nkuko nabanyabukungu bakomeje kubivuga mu minsi ishize ko gukomeza kuzamuka uru rwunguko rwa Central Bank ari ikibazo kwizamuka ryo bukungu ndetse na no muryango umwe bw'urayorotse gusa mu dibaze ni muntu ngeze iki cyumwe rwasabye ibihugu kwitwararika mu kuri ingamba umuntu yakibaza ngo urebye iri zamuka ry'imibare y'izamuka ryo bukungu no kuzamukuru no kuzamura uru rwunguko ntabwo kugenda umuvudu koza ugabanuka wizamuka ryo bukungu ari kiguzi cyangwa nk'ikibazo cyatewe ni iki kibazo ni ni imibare yo kuzamura uru rwoko kugira ngo mugabanye izamuka ry'ibiciro murakoze yeah so rakoze iki cyambere wenda reka sobanure byo kuteruzijo ntabwo kuzamuka ku bukungu mu gihe ngo cyagatatu ari gatanu bice bikwije umubare nya uzatangwa n'ikigo kibarusha mu bare bamaze gukora imibare yose twumare twatanze ni imibare yihuse dukurikirana itanga ikerekezo cyaho bigana so nizera ko nta wujya gutangaza ko twavuze ko ubukungu buzaza bwazamutse ho gatano bice biri ku ijana nkuko abirebye subizaho noza the slide ya CIA na icyo icyo ubona nuko bigenda bifite ikerekezo kimwe iya mi bato dukurikiranira hafi igenda urabona nka gihembwe cya katatu cy'umwaka ushize twebwe iyo mibare yacu yagaragaza ka 10 na 5 n'ibice bitatu kwijana 
ariko nyubukungu nyirizi na kugaza mutwe 10 kwijana ni ngira ngo ni mu gihembo gishize gusa aho dusana aho twahuje imibare ibibare twa twabonaga yahuye kubera yuko akenshi twebyo dukurikira nta guhinzu burimo kubera yuko mu gihembo gishize uhinzu gusa naho ntacyo bwatanze kuri tambere ryo gukungu hafi byanganye na 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 twebyo twa twa ya mibare yihuse dukurikira so yatanu ni bice biri rero iratanga indication yatanga ikerekezo cyuko bizagenda nubundi turabona ko bizari ariko nagira ngo bisobanuka ataze gutangaza ko ari yo mibare ya ari wo mubare wa ngo muvudu ko bukungu mu gihe ngo cyagatatu ariko cyo bavuze cyo nkuko nabivuze mbere ku rwego ntuza muhanga nibyo ko kwiyo hagiye habaho kuzamura ku rwunguko rwa banki muri igihugu bigenda bica intege umuvudu ko bukungu muri rusange bigaca intege cyo twita abantu ko bagura ibintu bigaca intege kuzamuka ku biciro ku masoko ubundi niko gahunda ya yibiciye y'urwunguko rwa Central Bank ikora kugira ngo subize inflation ku kugigero gikenewe ariko twebwirebye i ku kumanuka kwa ku kongo muri sanyi ko tubibona ubukungu akenshi bwazamutse muri bihembwe bishize kubera services services mu Kinyarwanda ubwo niki service okay yeah but cyane cyane ibigenda ino cyo rugenda kora ko twa tuvuye muri covid ibintu byasaga na byahagaze byagiye bifunguka uko eh isifungura bikomeza bigenda byitsubigira umuvuduko muremure mu myaka ibiri ya mbere nyuma ya covid so du utumusana utumaze kugira twa turi muri 2019 ntabwo kwiyongera kukiri hejuru nkuko bya bimeze mbere so yirebye rero ni nkuko wabyita ngo ni best effect yirebye uwo muvuduko wagabanutse kubera yuko kwa kwihuta kwa kwa gabanutse tusana aho twageze iyo twajyaga ndi nka bya bindi njya bwo ihinga umushike ureza cyane biroroshya ariko kugenda uhinga bigira ngo butaka bugatangira gusharira uko hinze ntukure mu byinshi uko rero muvudu kubagi uko isi yagifungura imibare ya services zishingiye ku cyarugendo zari hose cyane nubuzira cyazamuka ariko zaragaba mu sebenda na guhe imibare kugira ngo bisobanuke neza So you have tourism, kuri kuri mugiye ngo cyakabiri cyuno mwaka Yes, yes. Yes, so here we have the two mark. No go services as a much two minagatan to new chevine quijana, queen was at Reva. I recovered of a cream of union academy chevy quijana, Yelviaza much marks. So we are going to go to the amount of the amount of the amount Ibirebye twebwe ni niyo niyo yatumye habaho kumanuka kuri ntabwo nanone ukurikije imibare naberetse kuri interest rate ama bank aheraho abantu imyenda abandi bira bihugu byo hanze niho icyo twise transmission kuko ibyemezo bifatwa na bank uri gihugu uko bigira ingaruka kuri kwa kugenda buhoro ku bukungu akenshi binyura mu mafaranga agurizwa abantu hano rero ntabwo birahagira kubera ko abo financial sector acha tere imbere bihagije ntabwo turagera ahantu cyemezo dufata bita bigira ingaruka ku mwanya ku uko ama banka guriza abantu ntabwo rero uko kumanuka ntabwo bushingiye kuzamuka kwa central bank rate as such eh ntabwo biragera ntabwo turagera aho ngaho ariko byo uko wabisobanuye rwose niko bigenda niyo niyo twita 
inzira monetary policy decision inyuramo kugabanya inflation inuko amaherezo gabanya ubukungu biri wabonye ku rwego muza mahanga ubukungu bwagiye bumanuka mu kubera zibya tight conditions zishingiye kuri kuzamuka kwa policy rate so kuchini cyo zabajije kuri world bank ranking ntabwo ndushaye kujya mu world bank ranking ko ntakivuze ntakivuze icyo icyo itwe bimunye dufite ni ibiciro byacu ntabwo abandi babahehe babahehe twaba bambere twaba yabijana ntacyo bivuze niyo wabutagaragara kuri rutonde rwa central bank kubera ko abenshi bakuri hejo bafite magana atatu nko bavuga ngo ukabiri kwijana ntabwo bakwishimira ko tari muri rwa muri cyaje bifimo cyase ya world bank icyo twebwe tureba ese ibiciro byacu birimo bira uwo muvuze ko kubici uri muri amanuka niko bimeze iyo rebyo bavuze 15 kwijana urebyo twari turi cyo giye turaba karindwi twari hejo yo 15 kwijana so ntabwo ikibazo rero ari ko turaba kabiri iki cyo twishimira nuko ibiciro birimo bimanuka umuvudu kwa ibiciro uri mu manuka so ni niyo niyo tureba ntabwo ntabwo ibyo byaho wavugaga magana atatu hacyo twita best effect imunsho bakuri kuri magana atatu nuko kweza mu kwezi gusa nuko umwaka utaha ntabwo bya bicuro bya muntu se bya byageze kuri magana atatu ariko wa muvudu kwa kwera ko ari hejuru cyane biriyongeraho gato ariko bigasa naho nta cyahindutse kinini so nta ntabwo ari kibazo ari iyo iri iyo rating ya ya world bank icyo turebona uko ni biciro bigenda bimanuka kandi cyo twaberetse nuko tubona bimwe bimanuka ngira ngo nababwiye no kuhinzi ko nubwo bimanuka turacyafite umunyenge ko bikiri hejuru byavuye kuri 140 bijya kuri 130 ni byiza ko rimwe bimanuka ariko ikiza tureba nuko mu mwaka utaha none ho bizajya munsi ya zero ibyo biribwa aho ngo nico kinyeze dukurikirana aho ibya rating za world bank nta kibivuze Governor, there is a question from online. Munatu gire ichivazo. Munatu gire itakazaga itakazaga chiro kifaranga yurguanda ingaruka vijira kubichiro joku isoko. Yes. Nibijo koko irevje muri yo twita ko inflation ku biciro ku masoko iyo hakomeje kubaho gutakaza ko gaciro kwifaranga nubundi bigeraho bikagaragara mu biciro ku masoko mu vudu ko biciro ku masoko so iri ya gatanda tukwijana twerekana mu mwaka utaha harimo iki iki terwa no kuzamuka bitewe na na no gutakaza gaciro kuri hejuru uyu mwaka so nibyo riyo bihabayeho gutakaza gaciro kwifaranga kumara igihe bigira ingaruka ku biciro ku masoko eh ngira ngo gukora ubushakashatsi bigaragaza yuko iyo birenze ho munani bikamara igihe biriho bishutangira kugira ingaruka ku ku biciro ku masoko so ibyo rero byo birimo ariko biri tayari muri kare gatanda twaberetse mu mwaka utaha nuko harimo ni ingaruka kuri gutakaza gaciro kawaye muri uyu mwaka is Alice from TNT. Thank you. My name is Alice Kajina uh, from New Times. I have two questions. Uh, one on the, I mean, over the recent past, there were six uh, forex bureaus suspended and ten penalized. So, what specific fines were imposed on the ten, and uh, how long will those who were suspended continue to be closed? And do you have uh, firm measures to curb this issue? Uh, I mean, effectively. Another question is on the recent report by the African Development Bank on benchmark of macroeconomic models for effective management uh, in Africa. So it was proposed that uh, the regional blocks could have harmonized uh, macroeconomic models to, to look at how you can curb the impact of economic shocks in one country from the other. So what's your take on that and uh, how the feasibility of this approach? Thank you. So we go on to the second question. Okay. So the, the first question on forex bureaus, uh, uh, yeah. We took punitive measures on these forex bureaus because of malpractices in the market. So they were 
somewhere holding uh, forex, like you enter, they tell you they don't have uh, forex, somebody else comes in, they have forex. So we deployed our staff to, to check what was happening in the market, and they went in as clients of forex bureaus, and so we are able to trace uh, these malpractices, but we also uh, require them to have CCTV cameras in their uh, business premises, and so we were able to track what they are doing, their actions through these CCTV cameras. So those who had my practices were taking advantage of the pressures on the market today, and they wanted to make super normal profits. So according to regulations we have, uh, we took, uh, we suspended them for three months. Others were penalized between 3.5 and uh, I think 500,000, depending on the uh, the, the offense, uh, so, and we continue following up what is happening. So it, it, it's, our, it's our responsibility to, to ensure uh, market conduct is according to uh, regulations, existing regulations. So that's how we took actions against those that were uh, involved in my practices. Is the pen in dollars or one in francs? No, one in francs. <laughs> $3.5 million? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's one in francs. Yes, so Thierry. Thank you, Governor. <coughs> to answer on that, uh, we agree that there's need to, to have a, a cooperation at regional level on, on macroeconomic modeling. We are already doing that. At the, at the East African community level, uh, we have regular uh, meetings with our peers on the central banks. Uh, it's um, part of the Monetary Affairs Committee of the EAC. Uh, in fact, actually, we are even hosting uh, a meeting in the coming months uh, where we are going to discuss macroeconomic models that we use at the different central banks. Um, they are broadly similar, but uh, with uh, differences depending on the structure of our economies. So we exchange on how we can improve. But um, the recommendation you are, you are, you are, you are actually um, uh, mentioning is where we should go towards having uh, even common models that can uh, help us um, uh, measuring the impact of shocks and uh, the ongoing, uh, there are new shocks coming up, there's climate change, how can we better model that? So at the National Bank of Rwanda, we are already working on that, but uh, uh, we have continuous exchanges with our colleagues and uh, we one day will have uh, a, common, a common model on that. Thank you. Yes, Mrako is a governor, Vincent Gassana, Katie Press. Um, my question really dovetails a little bit on what um, has just been explained. Um, looking at the uh, global instability and looking at the nature of our economy and the size of our economy, um, yes, there is no way of escaping uh, the inter interconnectedness of the economy, of world economies. There are things like um, fuel, for instance, and, uh, and the manufacturing imports and so on. But beyond that, is there a way that um, our economy can be protected from uh, global instabilities and the regional instabilities so that when we have economic mismanagement in Congo, for instance, or the East African region, there is a way that we are protected? Or is that um, my, you know, uh, uh, really economic uh, um, illiteracy? I don't know. Is it possible at all? You know? The other question, if I may, is uh, um, um, we had uh, the chatbot in Humga. Um, I'm just wondering how that has uh, panned out and what, what difference has, it has made, if any, and whether or not it's being used um, as much as um, you hoped it would be. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean. oh. Maybe did you handle the normal question? Uh, so, uh, on, on the first question on, on <coughs> protecting our economy from the external shocks, it's not possible to do it completely, but you can mitigate. You can mitigate external shocks. One is, for example, keeping enough reserves for separate for for essential commodities, and government has been investing in that in really building results for essential commodities. Uh, the other is increasing domestic production. Though in most cases, we, we sometimes ask even 
even the US or wherever, in most cases we find that raw materials come from outside the country. So why, in terms of increasing domestic production, uh, reduces impact of swings in, in, in uh, global commodity prices, it's not easy to 100% produce what you, what you need. But for example, in agriculture, uh, we can, I think we can do better. We can increase uh, our domestic production for food stuff and reduce dependence on, on, on uh, food imports. Uh, like there's been a lot of investments in domestic rice production. Uh, so that is one of, of the channels that could reduce uh, the, the impact of global challenges. But it's, it's really difficult to, to stop it completely. Like for example, you gave the example in Congo. So it, it's our export market. When they have issues of uh, uh, domestic issues with stopping imports, or even their importers, not only from our side, then it impacts that. But this was a short-term problem. So, uh, and the other thing, of course, is in terms of exports, it's diversifying your destinations. But in this case, this is a re-export that is uh, uh, that has been working well. And as I said, this was short term, so it's after the, the challenges were resolved, the things resumed. So yes, there are measures taken, but it's not completely possible to, to ring fence yourself and uh, don't face any shocks uh, from the global uh, challenges. Did you, maybe from your trade point of view, you can also add on that first question if, if you want to. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Governor, and thanks, um, Vincent, for the question. I, I think probably on uh, the um, how we can uh, protect our own economy vis-a-vis -vis the global shocks, what I can add is what you what is in our control. How are we building the resilience of our economy? And if we take, for instance, the... Uh, one of the biggest risks to, to macroeconomics, which is climate change, is really how Rwanda is um, not only transitioning to net zero, but we are not a high emitter. I think our main challenge is adaptation to, to the different extreme weather events that we know are going to be more frequent. Uh, so that's one thing that I think is in our control and the government is, is working in that regard. The second is also, I think, on uh, building on what Governor mentioned, how do you diversify um, your sources of um, imports of raw materials or the essential products that you don't manufacture, um, that you don't manufacture locally? And that has been done um, through the Ministry of Trade and Industry to make sure that our private sector have access to many more markets as well as the fact that we are at the forefront of also promoting the Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, where at least if you have, let's say, um, global tensions in different continents, you can rely on your African partners. So that's what I could add on, on what the governor mentioned. And then on the second question on Inhumwa chatbot, that's part of our um, enforcement of the Financial Services Consumer Protection Law, which was enacted, as you know, in 2021. And having a um, complaint handling system that's online, uh, one allowed us to measure and monitor the complaints that not only go to financial institutions, we're able to see them, but also to look at how long they take to address those issues. So that's a mechanism for us to also monitor how the financial institutions we regulate um, handle complaints from clients and what those complaints are about. Secondly, it allows us to look at the responsiveness of the financial institutions themselves. And it's true that we have had challenges on the um, uh, platform as well, where we're looking at upgrading it so that it's more user-friendly, doesn't have uh, also downtime. But we're not only looking at Inhuma Chatbot as a tool. Uh, you may have seen that there's a campaign to also educate consumers, even in rural areas, by establishing what we call consumer protection ambassadors in every district who are trained in their you know, obligations as financial services consumers, but can also train and address challenges in their own districts 
on um, financial services and uh, challenges they might have in the use of financial services. We're hoping that we'll have those ambassadors in, in all the 30 districts uh, that our country has. Um, and that also is complemented by financial literacy programs that we're also um, uh, putting in place through our financial sector development and inclusion department. Thank you. By that building on that, I think it's, it's good to inform you, I know we've been advertising this, that we have, uh, how do we call it? We have campaigns yeah. ongoing uh, here in Kakigari, uh, trying to support people to understand their, uh, the benefit of uh, the information they have in CRB. So also people are coming there, meeting financial institutions, meeting CRB uh, TransUnion to understand their status within CRB. And so it's ongoing for this week. So we encourage you to 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 throw it up. I think there's also a, a, a USSD code that you can. Is it seven zero seven? Is it seven seven zero seven? Seven zero seven. So you can dial seven zero seven. It's it's star seven zero seven hash. Then you get information about your your credit uh, status in your financial institutions. But we can also encourage your readers, your viewers, to really take advantage of this campaign at Kakigari to go and take, check their status, but also know how to use the CRB information for their benefit. Yes. Governor, with your permission, we'll take the last two questions from CNBC and, and Bloomberg. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Governor. Um, my name is Abi Agina from CNBC Africa. I just want to start off with a quick follow-up on a question that was asked by New Times. My question is in regards to the impact of the suspension of these uh, Forex traders. Has it in any way impacted the velocity of supply in the market? If you could take up on that. And my second question is in regards to how the regulator is handling the issue around the Rwandan franc. We've seen uh, it has continued to weaken to the dollar, and it's not just a Rwandan problem. We also see it across the region, in Kenya, as well as in Uganda. Perhaps if you could shed some more insight into this in regards to some of the interventions you're taking to prop up the Rwandan franc. And uh, finally, it's on the financial sector. We've seen some improved numbers there, uh, recording about 16.2% in terms of growth. I'm just keen to know what were some of the drivers behind this, and what do you see in your radar screen when you look at the consolidation happening within the financial sector in East Africa? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll let DG handle the, the last question on the financial sector. <clears throat> on, the, on, the, on the FX markets, taking action against these Forex bureaus wasn't really about uh, generating more, more, more dollars. The, the quantity of dollars wouldn't change. But the behavior and the perception they are creating in the market of shortage beyond the actual status was the one that was eliminated. When you look at the daily uh, depreciation that we had before, that reduced after the actions were taken. So it doesn't mean that there's uh, increase in, in, in the supply. The supplies really remain the same. Uh, so I think it was really creating order in the market. And uh, one also getting the actual information of their pricing. We don't dictate pricing of the forex, but we monitor, and we, they are required to report to us the pricing at which they are transacting. So some of them were sending us information that is they sell at one rate, and they send us uh, different information. So at least now we get actual information from the market that helps us to track what is happening. And what we are doing, I, I think, what is happening, as I said in the, in the presentation and the early explanation, is the demand and supply forces that is determining the price of the flower and that is what is supposed to be done. Uh, so 
what we just did, we increased our, our supply to the market just to, to reduce the, 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 the waiting period that we had, we had talked about before. It's not about whether overvalued or undervalued that would affect its competitiveness at the international market. So it is at its actual rate vis-a-vis -vis our international transactions. Thank you. Thank you, Governor, and thank you, Agi, for on the question on the financial sector, one, on the growth of um, assets, the 16% we've shown for the last quarter, is due mainly one on the banking sector on the uh, number of, of um, the volume of loans, increased loans, uh, which um, indicates that the banking sector continues to finance the, the economic uh, sector or the real sector. There's also an increase in the investment portfolio being from banks, uh, pension funds, as well as insurance, um, as well as investments in, in other sectors, particularly from um, the public uh, 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 pension fund, uh, which has highlighted, uh, indicates the continued strength and growth of the financial sector as a whole as well as their contribution to the economic performance of the country. In terms of the consolidation, true, uh, we've seen the last two years um, uh, KBC and VPR uh, merger, and we are, um, a new merger between Equity Bank and Koje Bank has been announced, which is still subject to supervisory um, approvals from uh, the regional bodies, including the COMESA uh, competition authority. I think what's important in consolidation is it has its benefits, especially in synergies you can have between two institutions coming together, having more muscle to um, finance larger projects, being able to diversify uh, products. But also we have to make sure as supervisory authorities that competition is, is maintained and we're not creating uh, any monopolitist, uh, monopolitistic um, uh, sector or, or group. But I think for the continent as a whole, it's good to have bigger Pan-African groups um, that even extend beyond our borders to be able to, to support the intra-African trade. That's what I can say about Hello, my name is Noreen Ndira with Bloomberg. I just have a couple of questions too, actually, which are just basically clarifications. Um, first of all, it's great news that inflation is going down in Rwanda, but that is not the reality of many of the African countries. So I would just like to know from you, outside of the tightening of the monetary policy rate, what else would you attribute to the drop in inflation? Because we're seeing all the other countries are doing the same thing, but the inflation keeps going high. And with regards to the currency, currently it has lost about 13% of its value to the dollar. Um, I understand that you're doing everything you can to ensure that market forces dictate the price. But what kind of effects do you foresee from this depreciation moving forward? Thank you. Um, thank you. Um, you're, you're right that it's not only monetary policy, actually, that it's... Um, uh, driving a uh, decrease in prices, especially in our African countries, where uh, the financial sector uh, is not as developed as the rest of the uh, as advanced economies, let's say. So, in in the case of in the case of Rwanda, as we um, explained, the government explained is combination of factors. There's been other uh, interventions uh, put in place by by the government. There's also effort that has been made uh, to avail and um, increase the supply of food. Uh, through uh, um, different, um, to making sure that uh, farmers access um, inputs, including fertilizers, and there's been increased um, subsidies for, for fertilizers, for example. So these are a few examples of um, some of the interventions by government to make sure that there's enough production. And what we are seeing for the moment is that the season A is promising, and uh, whether uh, this time around uh, has, has been favorable uh, so far. So if no other thing changes, uh, this should have uh, a big impact on the reduction of uh, food, uh, fresh food prices, leading to a continuous reduction of inflation. So it is not only uh, monetary policy tightening, but also other things, including uh, supply uh, on the supply side for fresh food items. Um, I can also um, 
slight international prices, as we saw at the beginning of this presentation. Some of the commodities, I mean, most of the commodities reduced, uh, the price is reduced internationally this year compared to last year. This is a um, combination of, of course, monetary policy tightening by advanced economies and all of our uh, uh, countries, uh, but also um, ways um, that have been found to um, have sub these supply chain disruptions uh, reducing. So it's a combination of factors that could also affect the other, other countries uh, in the region that are having high, uh, high inflation. Uh, the second question was about, you say, the impact of uh, the depreciation. Uh, so I think one of the questions was about that, and uh, we're saying that there's an impact, there's a link of uh, high depreciation for a longer period of time to our uh, inflation, especially uh, core inflation, which is excluding energy and fresh food. Uh, we are taking that into account in our projections, and the 6% uh, that we are proje projecting for next year uh, already takes into account uh, that, that, that impact, but we are monitoring that. And uh, in the case of Rwanda, like some other African countries, the impact is not immediate and is not as strong as uh, for advanced economies. So that's what I can say. Thank you. Maybe the announced was burning, it's okay, we can watch you as a. I'm a trade deficit. Kugavanya, Ichuho Chibio, Rukuramo Mahangani Birgo Herezai. Girango, Yomurebi Murjo Gidi Echirechiri. Move on Haru Mosurguanda, Ibjurgo Hereza Mumanga Visadish Kuru to Jerukurayo, Haribu Korbichi Mu Haribu Korbichi Kuru to kuri cyo kigero yo mukoze projection mo nabisho pa mu muhe myaka murakoze did you want to answer from your past experience ah thank you governor ni kibazo kiza ariko ki nakomeye gusobanura kuko hari hari ingamba zashyizweho yurebye police ya made in Rwanda yashyizweho mu 2018 yarafashije mu mukongera ibikorerwa mu Rwanda kugira ngo tudakomeza gukura ibyo dushobora ibyo twebwe twakwikorera tukabikora mu mahanga icyakabiri ni no kugira ngo twongere ibyo twoheza mu mahanga bya bibikorerwa mu nganda ariko ni nibikomoka ku buhinzi ikigaragara nuko iyo wubaka urwego rwa rw'inganda hari ibintu byinshi ubukeneye cyane cyane nka mamashini utikorera aho rero niho bigenda bigaragara ko muri iyi myaka yashize imports cyangwa gukura mu mahanga ibyo bikenerwa ari ibikoresho byibanze aba mashini yo mu nganda byo ni ibintu byari byitezwe ko bigomba gukomeza kuzamuka kugeza igihe dushobora natwe kugira ubushobozi bwo gukora izo mashini no no kongera ubushobozi bw'urwo rwo nganda ariko numva ari umuntu abireba nka investment ntago ari ibintu ari ukuvuga ngo nubu komeza kwagura iyo trade deficit nta nta kamaro kagize cyakabiri umuntu atanabiremeye mu mibare no kureba self reliance y'igihugu niba hari ibintu dushobora kwikorera no kuvuga ko habaye nk'icyorezo cy'icya covid cyangwa se ikindi cyatuma ubucuruzi no guhahirana ku bihugu bitandukanye gukoma mu nkokora ni buri byibanze ubu bufite hari gihe biba bihenze kubikora ariko kubifita akaba icyo kiri strategically important kuvuga ngo twatanga projections y'igihe tuzagira maybe a zero balance nta trade deficit biragoye kubyemeza hanga hari ubwo nukureba urwo rugendo ese turagenda tugabanya icyo cyuho ariko nanone hari ibindi tuzi ko tutazashobora kwikorera cyangwa umuntu afashe nk'ibikomoka kuri petrole nta petrole dufite ibyo byo bizakomeza kuva hanze ahubwo hari is in the energy sources in his uh, projects can we machine go crash methane gas no gutuma nibora nka gas twatumiza mu mahanga igabanuka ibyo ni bikwereka yuko icyo cyo gishobora kugabanuka ariko ntago umuntu yavuga ngo mu myaka ingahe twaba tutagikuri ibintu mu mahanga bita ibyo twohereza ikindi nuko ingamba zo gukomeza ari zo kongera ubushobozi bw'inganda kugira ngo bukore inganda zikore byinshi bihazi soko ariko ni tubone nibisagurira amasoko y'amahanga no kureba icyo service dushobora nazo 
service zikorera mu Rwanda zishobora kujya mu mahanga nabyo ni bitumi cyo cyuho kizagabanuka ubwo rero numva yuko tutakwiheba ahubwo ari urugendo rurerure turi imbere kandi natwe nka central bank dukomeza kubikurikirana n'izindi nzego zitandukanye numva ari cyo navuga kuri cyo kibazo thank you Thank you, Governor. Uh, so this marks the end of our press conference, and we thank you for your for we thank you for coming in for this press conference. And we have our, the documents for this press conference. We've uploaded them on our social media channels. For anyone who wants to reference to them, you can download them there. Thank you.